People who live on the border of Damascus and Happy Valley are filing to de-annex from Damascus, calling it one of the most dysfunctional cities around. But the city just filed a complaint against them to try to stop them from leaving. Jessica Morkert is getting some answers on this. So, Jessica, what's going on here? Well, Kelly, the city has filed a complaint and injunction to stop those residents, residents from de-annexing. But the folks I spoke to today say, according to recently passed legislation, they're within their rights to leave, and they have a lot of reason to. It's a poster child for dysfunctional government. It truly is that. You go to city council meetings and you see guys bickering back and forth and you're thinking about it like it's a grade school conflict, okay? Instead of a government that's going to be sitting there determining our future. Henry Brown's home sits right on the border of Damascus and Happy Valley. He and his wife have been waiting for years for the city to come up with a comprehensive plan so they know what the future holds for their home. And we bought this property like anybody buys. If you buy stock or you buy property, you don't buy the property thinking, we're going to lose money. Under recently passed legislation, Brown is leading the charge to de-annex his property from Damascus and is joined by dozens of citizens disappointed with what they say is dysfunction and years of no comprehensive plan. But the city filed this complaint, naming the governor, Brown, and any future residents wanting to leave. And Valerie and I are being sued by the city of Damascus by our own tax dollars, being sued by the city of Damascus. And they've spent more money on legal fees than I care to think about. Filing a suit against them, is that necessary? Uh, th that's a good question. First of all, um, we're unanimous on council on this. And by the, by the recommendation of our uh, legal team for the city, that it's unconstitutional. The mayor tells me the city council has agreed it's unconstitutional for the legislature to force the city to change its boundaries. He says no one is being sued, but a complaint and injunction has been filed with the state to stop it. The mayor says right now there are three comprehensive plans on the ballot in May to address this very issue. But Brown tells me the majority of Damascus residents have spoken, voting no back in November to disincorporate. But the reality is, the citizenry of Damascus has said enough in a vote. Now, 63% of people have voted to disincorporate from Damascus back in November, but because a supermajority was required for that vote, it did yeah. fail, and I'm mm -hmm. told that there's going to be a hearing on this issue in Damascus on Thursday at 6.30. I'm okay. told there's going to be hundreds of people. Well, yeah, like that. at the very least, a lot of time, effort, and money being spent on this whole issue. Oh, absolutely. All right, thank you, Jessica. And keep us